Thank you guys so much for being here. Video. I'm gonna go ahead and I can't film anymore. Hey guys, welcome back. It has been a hot freaking dang minute. I know. Like all people say when they come back after a while, I've been very, very, very busy. Let's just keep it short and sweet. I haven't been on here because I've been incredibly busy with my own personal life. I just haven't had the time to film at all. YouTube is just my passion. It's my hobby. This is not my full-time job. I actually have a full-time job and it's been very, very, very busy at work, which is great considering a whole pandemic that just happened. I am super excited to finally sit down and film for you guys. It's just really hard during the day when you're kind of like working all day, then you only have the evening, but in the evening, instead of like filming, you gotta like, you know, cook. Now I'm gonna be able to have more time to film and just have more time in my life for YouTube. By the way, I have no backdrop. I'm trying to play around with my background. I know, it does not look pretty at all. I'm tired of having a backdrop. Like I just want natural lighting. This is what I have and sorry, the background isn't nice, but It'll probably be done at some time 2022. For today's video, I'm gonna be filming a classic makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna be doing a simple springtime look because it's the spring, right? Yeah? These have, I've, Miami, it's, it's always hot here. Before we get started, take a quick moment to subscribe down below. If you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead. Oh, it feels so nice to film again. Holy smokes, it's been forever. Let's put some makeup on this face, shall we? All right, let's prime our face. What are we using? It's been forever since I filmed a tutorial. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and just kind of mist my, my face with this hydrating milky mist from Pixie. Let's just um, do that. <laughs> I haven't filmed in so long. <laughs> For primer, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Primer Riser. I heard so much stuff about this. This is a really nice, it's like a primer and a moisturizer all in one. So uh, let's go ahead and use that. It is very, very nice and smoothing for the skin. And what I love about it is that it's more of a moisturizer than it is like a silicone-y kind of primer. I don't want to glow too much. I kind of want to just be like simple, springy. What does hell is springy mean? I don't know. I love this primer. Ugh. God, give me sunlight, please. So let's go ahead and get started with foundation next. I'm gonna be using my favorite freaking foundation ever. It is the Rare Beauty Foundation. It's so easy to blend into the skin. It's very, very natural. It has the slightest amount of dewiness. My favorite way of blending out this foundation is actually with a brush. So once I finish dotting that, <laughs> I don't know how to put it in my Look at that. Look at how magically this blends into your skin and how natural it is. Well, not really natural because my skin has two different colors right now. I don't know why. You see how quickly that blended into the skin? Oh my God, this foundation is on point. You go, girl. Mm. Natural, glowy. It feels like you put this on and it just magically erases all your imperfections and just makes you look natural and it's not cakey at all. Perfect, perfect foundation. Okay, so logo, let, blah, 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 blah. for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This thing has full coverage. I love this concealer. It is a little drying though, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, <laughs> let me just do that. I am gonna use a beauty blender for that, to do that. Alrighty, I need some sleep. Not really, I sleep the hell out of every night that exists. To set the concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Better Than Bitter Beauty Bakery Flower Better Than Bitter something flower powder. I don't know. Usually you just use the powder on the lid and I'm just gonna set all that. I really like this powder to set my under eyes, but I prefer a different powder to set the rest of my face because I like something with a tiny little bit of glow, tiniest. So I love using the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I've been using this every single day of 2021. Well, not every day because I don't put makeup on every day, but every time I do my makeup, I always use this powder and I just, I love it. It really reminds me of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I use what's in the cap. We are set. So for eyes, we are gonna go in with the e.l.f. Retro Renegade. Why am I calling this Renegade? It's not a Renegade, it's a Paradise Palette, this one. Go ahead and we're gonna start with the color here called Fuego, this one right here. I'm just gonna be applying that all over my transition area. Wind Wiper Motions, my favorite fantastic word. Blend that out. Use a little bit more of a precise brush. I know I have to clean my brushes. I'm gonna go in with the color here Caliente, a little bit more of a deeper color. I'm just gonna do like a 
slight dip because this palette is really pigmented. And let's just do little small circular motions, keeping that right on the outer corner. Dragging it slightly inwards, but keeping that right there. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I love this brush to get in the inner corners of my eyes. This is the Morphe M456 with the same color caliente. I'm gonna apply that just to the inner corners right here. I'm gonna wiggle that, wiggle it like a caterpillar type of thing. And what I like to do is just stamp it and then wiggle it up. Remember to leave the middle bare, that's the point. And stamp it right there in the middle, wiggle it. I'm gonna go back into the original color fuego, this one right here. And I'm gonna go back into the transition area and just kind of connect those two together. You always just wanna go back to blend things out. So you don't wanna leave things unblended, it's not pretty. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Spiced, this red here. I'm just gonna add that right in the outer corners. Circular small motions, pat, pat, pat. And for my inner corner, I'm actually gonna use a pencil brush. This is a Morphe M506. I'm just going to apply that color just on the inner corner. Tap it. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful color here called Paradise. It's very nice and dual chromey. So I'm gonna go in with my fingers. I'm just gonna apply that to the inner of my lid. Guys, see how pretty and dual chromey that is? That is duo beautiful. Very easy. Blend in those corners there, you know. Apply that color here. Tap off the excess. And I'm gonna go into the color Spice, the red one that I'm using in my outer corners. And I am gonna just go right across to the middle and blend that like this very softly, just so everything is nice and seamless. For brows, I'm just gonna go in with the NYX uh, Professional Micro Brow Pencil. I'm gonna go back into this palette. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go in to the color Spice. This one, the red one. The more I do my makeup, the more I realize my under eyes are getting crusty. Really smoldering and pretty. We are gonna go in with the Butter Bronzer. It's one of my favorite bronzers of all time. I've already hit pan on it. I'm just gonna go in with this Equal Tools brush. Got a little bit of bronzer up here in the usual areas. And down here. <laughs> I'm gonna contour my nose too. I'm gonna go in with any brush. Go into the bronzer, contour my nose. Go all the way up. Contour, contour here, here. Contour. For blush, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Pinch Blush in the color Blitz. This is a cream product, but let's see how this lays over top of everything. One, two, three. I am gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna place that. Oh, such a pretty color. What I love about this blush is that you can actually put it over powders and nothing happens to the look. One, two, three dots. Oh, this is such a cute color. It's so springy and pretty. I do like to add a little on my nose too. I am gonna go over top of that with a beautiful spring blush. This is the Luminoso from Milani Classic OG. I'm just gonna go in with this like stippling brush from MAC. This is a really old one. I've had this for like 10 years and it is in the perfect condition other than being dirty. Go in here and I'm just gonna add this right over top of that. I love it because it has like a little champagne-y, goldy undertone to it. And for highlight, I'm gonna go with the classic. I haven't used this very much. This is the Master Chrome Highlight from Maybelline in the color Rose Gold. Uh, on my cheeks, just a little, little glow, not a lot. This is such a pretty sh like pink gold. I'm gonna do the chocolate, the coconut color here. I'm gonna use that as my eyeliner for the top part. So I'm gonna take an angled brush. I'm actually gonna go into this one, Cacao. This one right here. This is a dirty, ugly brown. <laughs> Ooh, girl, that's chalky. Ooh, let's see how this turns out. Okay guys, we're done with this wing situation here. I don't know, this is my first time doing that. Just wanted to try something different, you know? Something a little different. 
same angled brush back to that coconut color it's gonna go right underneath that right here just to give some little smokiness to this look just a little something a little something, something. done 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 i'm gonna go in with the nyx bear with me mist i've been loving this one it's very very refreshing and I do like to also just go in with a beauty blender just to blend everything out. So let's just mascara everything up. What I love about this mascara is it does a really good job of lifting your lashes. What I don't love about it is that it does clump up really, really easily. It's not bad. Oh, I almost poked my eyeball out. Just gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterline Eyeliner. For lipstick, I'm gonna be using this one from BH Cosmetics. This one's in the color, does this even have a color? It's just 17 AA. Let's go ahead and add that. Oh, it's peachy. Oh yeah, that's very peachy. Oh, that's pretty. This will go great with a lip liner and a non-crusty lip. Such a pretty color, I'm so obsessed with this color. Like, it's so cute, it looks so good on camera. Looks crustier in person. All right, guys, we are done with this makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this springtime. Get ready with me. Thank you so much if you've been watching me this whole time and you've been reaching out to me to figure out what the hell I have you posted a video. Thank you so much. You don't understand how much I appreciate the support. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.